previously on Breath of the Wild. <gasps> Prince Sion, hello. Whoa. Hello. I've been waiting for you, Link. I'm coming, my friend. Hmm. You. Oh, hi, Leon. You must be exhausted after your long journey. Oh, and as for me, I am called Lido. But enough about me. Could I possibly ask you to go and meet with King Dorifan? He's in the throne room. Please go ahead. All right, well, I wanted to talk to you. You're far more interesting, Lido. Why would I want to talk to the king? Pfft. Who cares? Hey, a big fat guy. Oh. Bro, are you good? I'm going to just steal that from you. Hey! Who did it? Who stole my shock arrows? You! You're Link! Finally, I can avenge Lady Mifa. It has been a hundred years since you last showed your face here. Now I, Segan, will cut you down myself. What do you mean? Playing dumb, eh? Nice try. But you cannot fool me, Champion Link. You are unable to protect Lady Mifa from Calamity Ganon. It has been a hundred years since we lost her. Poor Lady Mifa. How heartbreaking. I won't fail her again. Ah, of course. Because you stole my shock arrow, that's why. In that case, you take the responsibility of appeasing the Divine Beast of Aruta. Hmph. Oh, well, I was planning on it until you started to yell at me for no reason. Reach Zoro's domain. Ah, uh, yep. Got it. Hi, Sidon. Oi, you're big. Ah, you must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Adorifan, ruler of the Zora. Hmm, that object upon your waist. Is that not a Sheikah slate? Hmm. Now that I have gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. You are the Hylian Champion Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion? You can't mean THE Link. THAT Champion? So that's why I have heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. I cannot believe it. The Hylian Champion Link has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I, uh, I had heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive it. Extraordinary. I've lost my memory. Come again? You say you've lost your memory? But surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mifa, yes? You do, do you not? Uh, doesn't ring a bell. I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? Okay, real quick. The fact that he just says doesn't ring a bell means that there was Pavlov in this world. Because the phrase, it doesn't ring a bell or that rings a bell, comes from Pavlov and his experiments with ringing a bell and then feeding the dog at the same time so that the dog salivates at the sound of the bell dinging. That's where that phrase originates from. If you want, you can fact check me. I looked it up because I was curious. That's the reason. Which means there was a guy, maybe not Pavlov specifically, but there was at least a psychologist who did the same exact experiment in this world. Just, just pointing that out. Just pointing it out. I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you don't remember her? Young Hira, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mifa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. I dearly hope so. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> that is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zoro's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? <laughs> King Dorifan, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help? Why, the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. 
With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Dora's domain, I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed. Link is a champion, through and through. As things now stand, Zoro's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. Wow, that's racist. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. I mean, he's not wrong. And that is not the least of it. Oh, okay, you're going to say the least? It is their fault that Lady Mifa was lost to us. I mean, I don't think that's... I mean, eh. Link. Divine Beast Valruta has great power. It has unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water and air are as one, so you would not think this would be quite as critical as a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts as soon as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. There, Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Hmm, the divine beast is crying out once again. The Divine Beast, Varuta. Your princess, Zelda, often studied the Divine Beasts, that is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulder are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Oh. Segan, who is quite... Segan, who was quite shock-resistant for Azora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. That is why we went and searched for a Hylian who could help us. Link, I am certain you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course, but please, hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. I, um... What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within? So then Princess Zelda's still alive. Yes, in Hyrule Castle. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time just as you were? The events of a hundred years ago cannot be altered, it is true. But if we can regain control of the Divine Beast, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity again and once and for all. I did not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. Wanderers, naturally, I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside. Come, Link, let us appease Ruta together. Let's do it. Thank you, Link. Truly, we are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Heck yeah, Zora armor. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like a Zora. Please take good care of it. King Dorothon! Surely you do not really intend to give this outsider the Zora armor. Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made that one there with her own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? This is just too much, my leash. I do not understand it one bit. I like how old people are always racist. Hmph. That Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter, Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. Hmm. But what shall we do now? I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows we will need to appease Valruta, but now he has rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly.
Sidon. I suppose that means you're going to tell him. Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Yeah, okay, I will do that. I'm also... Okay. Please, listen. Hi. Hmm. You came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Listen well, Muzu. There is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister Mifa had feelings for. It, I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. What? Well, no! You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie. Not this, Zora. How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Mifa's statue. Huh. It is the truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart. She is a cutie, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking, this reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child, always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know, perhaps we could spend some time together. She's got a crush on me, and I, I mean, <laughs> I'm not a zoophile, I swear. I just, uh, she's cute. What can I say? <laughs> 